Hello, I'm Victoria and today we are going to learn what is WordPress child team. WordPress is known for its high customizability, which allows us to create any type of website we want, and WordPress themes play an important role in that. A theme is a bundle of template files that, once installed, defines the website's visual appearance and functionality, and it doesn't stop there. While there are thousands of themes ready to use, WordPress users can also create their own custom themes from scratch. Or if you want a simpler option, you can create a child theme instead. A child theme is a theme that inherits the design, functionality, and coding of its parent team. A parent team is a larger complete team that has a lot of template files and assets required for the team to work. So the relationship between these teams works like this. The parent passes along its characteristics to the child team. The child can selectively make modifications to its own style, features, and functionality without modifying the parent team. A child team is stored in a separate directory from its parent team, and it has its own style sheet and function files. These two files are the core team files that make your team work. By using the relevant CSS and PHP files, you can modify any elements from the background colors or other style parameters to the code used by your child team. It's possible to do that even if the attributes aren't present in the parent team. When a visitor accesses your site, WordPress will load the child team first, then it will fill the missing styles and functions using parts of the parent team. As a result, you will get the best of both worlds, the core functionality of the parent team and the customized design of the child team. There are several advantages to using a child team. First, it's one of the most efficient ways to create a new WordPress team. You can create a new team without having to code everything from scratch, since you will base it on an existing theme. Normally, you will lose all the customization once the theme is updated, but since a child team is located separately from the parent team, you can customize the child team's code without breaking the parent's team's functionality, so the changes you made won't be overwritten in case there's a theme update. A child team is also a fail-safe solution. If you ever misconfigure a child team, you can track the parts you have changed and easily troubleshoot them. Meanwhile, the parent's team functionality is there to serve as a feedback option. Plus, if you use a parent team from a reputable developer, essential aspects like regular security updates and patches will be taken care of. You can sit back and relax knowing that those critical elements are being properly handled. But Child teams also have their disadvantages. To start using them, you will face a pretty steep learning curve. You will need to familiarize yourself with how the parent team works, including its template hierarchy. It actually depends on how many features the parent team has, but generally this process might be a little overwhelming for beginners or people from non-technical backgrounds. That said, it's a worthwhile process that will benefit you in the long run. In most cases, it becomes easier once you fully understand the parent team's files and functions. To begin with, I recommend choosing a parent team that's not feature-heavy so you can learn to create your first child team with a less complex structure. The second disadvantage is that the child team is dependent on its parent team. So, if the parent team's developers decide to make a significant change to it, like deleting a feature, that can impact your child team, especially if you use that feature frequently. The worst case is that if the team developer stops working on it, the child team created based on it may face security risks. If you find yourself in the middle of such situation, I recommend that you stop using the child team to avoid exposing your site to any security threats. Now that you know what a child team is, as well as its benefits and drawbacks, you may wonder, do you actually need a child team? Well, if you want to make adjustments to your team CSS or PHP files, then yes, you do need a child team. Usually, that's the case for web developers who want to showcase their expertise or casual users who have sufficient web development skills. But if you find yourself rarely modifying your CSS and PHP files, or you simply don't want to change your team's files, then you don't need a child team. 
WordPress themes already come with lots of design possibilities, and if you want an easy way to add custom CSS to your theme, you can use the WordPress customizer. To access it, go to your dashboard, then click Appearance, and then Locate and press Customize. There's an additional CSS section here where you can add the custom CSS for, let's say, changing the background and other side elements without a child theme. There are also custom CSS plugins, like Site Origin CSS, a great option for when you need to modify the styles of several elements. In short, it all depends on how often and how many elements you want to customize. In many cases, you may not need a child theme. You can create a WordPress child theme by using a plugin or doing it manually with the custom code. Each option has its advantages and disadvantages, but I have a few tips and tricks to help you. Choose a good parent team. Pick a team that is close in appearance and functionality to your team goals. That way you can keep modifications to a minimum. Plus, try to choose a team from a reputable developers to ensure you will get regular updates and security patches. Instead of doing it directly on your live website, use a staging environment when you activate your child team for the first time. If the error happens, you will avoid crashing the site. And last but not least, don't be afraid to start over if you encounter an error. WordPress has a huge community and robust documentation that can help you solve it, including web development forums like Stack Overflow. And that's all for today. You will learn the basics of using the WordPress child team, including its pros and cons, and how to tell if you need it or not. Share your thoughts about creating and using a child team in the comment section below, and do let us know if you have any questions about it. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.